Hey guys, Fat Man's here. So, I picked up a few knives the other day. I'm going to try to straighten up my bench a little bit as I go here. <laughs> um, and this, you all know, is a Mora Companion. This is, I've been using this one for about six months now. Uh, I haven't sharpened it or anything. It's still very, very sharp. But I was looking around on a website and I saw some, I'm going to call them clones, pretty inexpensive knives. Uh, this is one of them. They're called, they're, they call them a dive knife. I don't know about that. But you can see that they have, uh, in my opinion, they kind of tried to copy the Mora. The handle, I will say that the handle feels good. Um, BK1144 stainless steel made in China. In my opinion, the edge on these is totally unacceptable. <laughs> um, they are sharp. I picked up this one, and it comes with the plastic sheath. Now, the way they were, uh, this is called the Wahoo Killer. They were kind of uh, three different knives all in the same sheath. <laughs> And all very much the same knife. This one is RR641 stainless steel. These are all made in China. This is a Ridge Runner. Again, totally unacceptable edge. Uh, and I don't, I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but you can see the marks from the grind. I mean, they never even finished it. And when they coated the blade. They totally coated the edge. Um, well, that's kind of a silly thing to do. And then the third one is a Black Legion. This is by Ridge Runner. I assume they're all by the same company. Just don't know what it is. Um, this says BV220 stainless steel made in China. I don't know if the, the number letter designation is the type of steel or what it is, but they're all very much the same knife. There's some small differences in them, but not much. Again, um, you can see see the grind in the edge. I mean, that's just silly. That edge should be, A, it should not be coated, and B, you shouldn't be able to see those grind marks like that. They're pretty heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen them. And I'm going to be off for a few days next week. This is just kind of a preliminary look. And I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to compare them with the Mora. So I may not compare them with the Companion. I might grab the 511, which was cost me like $8 on Amazon. These were all less than that. Um... I think the most expensive was like five bucks. So if they'll hold up to some testing that I'm going to do with them, I could consider recommending them. But uh, until they go through that testing and uh, prove themselves worthy, I won't. The handles are all really similar. This one seems to have a little longer handle. I'm assuming that these are not full tang knives, but I can't tell where the tang stops. Initially, I mean... They'll flex, but they come right back. Uh, I had picked up a couple of other pocket knives. Also, I think I got them two for one. Call it a, a pocket farmer. The finish is rough. You can see all the grain marks. Um, the tension when you go to open and close is really stiff. It says Pakistan on the blade, but it's <laughs> it's not even laser etched. It's screen printed on there. Uh, this is also by Ridge Runner. This one I've taken and tried, uh, done some initial sharpening on it, but the edge is less than stellar. And it had a big nick in it when I got it. So, 
I'm going to play with them a little bit. Uh, like I said, they were really, really cheap. Uh, and I got free shipping on them. This has a nice edge on the back, so if you had to strike a fire steel, you know, with any folding knife, you want to do it with the knife closed. But I'm betting that would strike a steel pretty well. But we'll see, because I am not even sure what kind of steel that blade is. doesn't say anywhere. So, I'm going to sharpen these. Uh, I'm going to clean this one up. And uh, we'll get back with you in another episode. So, uh, stick around. See what we come up with. Uh, if these prove to be okay, they might make some, you know, really decent budget bushcraft knives. So we'll see what happens. Uh, so stay safe, God bless, and we'll catch you next time around.